performed, um, started well first 15 minutes, started with high energy, high energy and then um, maybe died off a little bit after 20 minutes or so but it happens when you start that fast. Um, but yeah, good performance, got the goals, could have scored a couple more but good performance all in all. You seem to drop yourself from midfield into attack today, um, is that something you can see happening going forward? Uh, I'm not sure, it's just a balance of play, just sometimes I can be in the right position, just the balance of play, getting that wherever the space wherever the space is, today it was Connor and Ben, sometimes you've seen it was me there, it's just the balance of play really, the spaces where obviously their players aren't, we want to occupy, so um, sometimes it fell today where I, I was the deepest and Connor and Ben were higher, sometimes it fell where I was higher, but yeah, just, just wherever the space is really. The manager said that you've got something to prove to yourselves, what's exactly what would that mean from your perspective? <clears throat> yeah, we just got to keep fighting. Just, just got to keep fighting to, to try and draw back some points. Of course, every game against Celtic's a big game. So, uh, now we're all looking forward to it. And of course, uh, we just got to try and pull some points back. John, you said um, previously that after the cup final, you didn't put the gap between the two sides that big. Obviously, it's down at six points at the moment. It's actually nine points for, for a few months now. Do you think next week is, is, is the perfect opportunity for you and your team to show the gap? No, you could say, yeah, we've got to obviously perform better than we did in the cup final. I think, obviously, the gap looked a lot bigger in the cup final because we weren't great and they, they played well. So, um, of course, we need to put up a better showing than we did in the cup final. We all know that. So, um, I think if we do that, of course, you'll see that the gap probably isn't as big as what, what people make out to be. Never made appearances for Alan McGregor, really, just how big is he for the group? Yeah, no, big. Just a moment for me to pay massive tribute to Ali. He's um, been huge for me since I come in. Um, vocal in the dressing room, just a lead, leader by example as well on the training pitch. He's honestly in two hours early every day. I come in and his car's always there first. Um, and it's a testament to him to get 500 games for this club. It's, um, you know, it's a, such a huge historic club and for someone to come and put, be <coughs> a massive part of it for 500 games, it's honestly some achievement for him. So massive congratulations to, to him and his family, yeah. John, you've been involved in a couple of really difficult games at, at Park Head Next week, what is the major differences that Rangers have to do and stop happening ahead of that one? Because you spoke a lot about there not being a big gap, but these games previously have shown perhaps there is. So how do you stop it and what do we do? We'll obviously speak about that internally, how we go about our game plan to try and stop that, of course. But I think we just need to obviously put up a better fight first and foremost and then um, second of all once we got the ball on the on the ground we need to show better quality than what we have done at Parkhead in the past um, it's easy for me to come and say sit here and, and say we need to be better but we, our results in the past at Parkhead haven't been good enough so we need to we need to go there and put in a better showing of course Last broadcast question Just a wee bit on the midfield as well obviously it's, it's been brightened up with Nico Raskin coming in and Todd Cantwell but we're starting to see Todd's effect on the team he's starting to get numbers a great assist again today how good is it for you guys in there to have um, legs and a bit more energy and someone that's able to maybe link that that kind of forwardness with his the way he drifts into those positions? No, of course it's great to have these these ball players in the team. These these lads with flair <coughs> when you're playing against a back five and a and a solid bank of four. Uh, on days like today, it's not easy to to break down. You need players with a bit of with a bit of magic, and these players that that we've got in our squad now and, and fit as well. Um, they're starting to, starting to bring it in Malik again with a, with a double today. I was saying from the start of the season what a massive talent he is as well. So he's back fit again now. Um, and yeah, Todd, Todd's fired and starting to show his quality. So no, and Nico's obviously another another fantastic player. A little bit different to, to Todd and Malik, but again, another massive player for the squad and going forward in the future. I think he'll be, I think he'll be big, big for Rangers. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys.